A delightful good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you whenever you will be viewing this video. Uh, my name is James Shelton, and I am your instructor for uh, this Fall 2 uh, Theology 301 course, and it is, uh, it is an honor to join you. Uh, right now we have five students, and uh, I am excited about the opportunity to teach this course and to, to simply walk with you through this material. Uh, I'm here to help you in any way uh, that I can. I'm also here and excited to see what God is going to do in and through uh, you, each of us, actually, as we uh, discuss the materials, work through the materials. Uh, and uh, this is a hands-on course. It's really a practical course. Uh, just so very well written and uh, and put together. Another thing it is, is demanding. Uh, this is a 300 level course. Um, you would imagine uh, moving up through 100 level courses, 200 level courses, uh, further up you get into those numbers. Uh, the degree of difficulty, if you will, uh, increases as do the expectations uh, of the instructor. Uh, so I'm not going to take a lot of time uh, to introduce myself. Uh, uh, I have written an introduction. Uh, you'll see here on the modules page on Canvas, you have your Meet Your Instructor, where I have uh, given you the the, the vitals on, on me and where I am in life at this point. Uh, I'm a fellow student, just like you guys. Uh, I am uh, working feverishly to complete my uh, Doctor of Ministry thesis at uh, Liberty University. Uh, so, and pastoring a church and, uh, and, and instructing at Point University. So believe me when I tell you, I understand, uh, I understand what the word busy means, uh, but it is a joyous busy. Uh, it is a, it brings a good tired, uh, almost each and every day. Uh, so glad to be here. You take the time to introduce yourself, uh, after you've read my introduction, uh, but also uh, the introduce yourself uh, forum discussion is important because we'll need to have this done by next Sunday, uh, the 23rd of October. It's a five point graded uh, assignment. And because we only have five uh, uh, five folks in this course, I'm only going to require you uh, to uh, you see number three here. It says read and respond to two of your classmates. Since there's only five of us in this course, um, I'm only going to require you to respond uh, to uh, one other one uh, one other classmate, but I would encourage you, uh, not for the sake of a grade, but just to get to know each other, uh, to try to respond to as many as you, as you have time to. Uh, so one of the ways with an online course, this is one of the ways we can uh, get to know a little bit more uh, about each other. And there you can see my uh, my post there uh, at at the bottom. So. Okay, so that's the that is the the one assignment for this week, the getting started week, which begins on Wednesday and uh, concludes next Sunday, which brings us in to week one. Now, I always uh, I always have students ask me how best to succeed in this course. Uh, what's one of the most helpful ways to work your way through the materials? And if you look on the left of the screen, you'll see the modules button here. Uh, if you go to the modules, I always I always tell uh, my students to uh, go to the modules and work your way from the top of week one all the way down. Okay. Start at week one. You may, you may, you know, you see the four assignments there for uh, week one. Um, you may do those in a different order, but I would encourage you always each week to start with the instruction. Welcome to the world of theology. And on this page, you're going to see, um, and 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 Professor Huxford, Dean Huxford, was one of my uh, uh, professors as well uh, here at Point University, and he and I worked together for a little bit uh, at his uh, church uh, that he was uh, minister to down in Tyrone for for a bit. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be working my way through this material with you uh, each week uh, because uh, there's always a good word. Uh, it really, really is. But if you look here. You, you know, you'll see a week one overview, the learning objectives, and then the activities are laid out one right after the other right here in the instruction. So we'll take a look at this. I'm not going to go through each week, uh, but there is a big project that, the, uh, that, that we will put together at the end. You'll be putting it together as we go. But I do want to, to just show you how the, the course is constructed. Week one, we have this lecture uh, from Huxford, Why Study Theology? Can't I Just Study the Bible? 
um, and he gives you some instruction there. Uh, another uh, another lecture, every Christian is a theologian, complete with a shared PowerPoint presentation as well. Once you've done that, we have a third called Left Behind. Uh, and then uh, we have the rest of the assignments for the week. You have your forum response to prompt 1.3, and I'll show you that. And then the second unit of work for this week uh, has to do with the topic of God and Father. And you have your book by N.T. Wright, one of the best books available. Now, it may seem a bit dry at times, but the but the information, the forming information, this is not just information, the formative value of this book, Simply Christian, it is, for me, uh, this generation's mere Christianity, uh, C.S. Lewis's mere Christianity. Uh, this book, for me, uh, is this generation's mere Christianity. It is that important. And so for week one, you'll be uh, reading the first four chapters. Give yourself time, all right, uh, to do that. And then you're going to respond in assignment 1.6, the Simply Christian. And then we have a voiceover PowerPoint here, uh, God the Father, uh, on what the Bible says about God the Father. And you see it here. There's a theological exercise for this week. One of the major areas of emphasis for this course is the idea that theology has to be learned in real life, not in the vacuum of a classroom, real or virtual. So each week there will be a theological exercise designed to help you figure out what that looks like. And then 1.9, you're going to be reading uh, a reading from Helmut Felicke. And if I mispronounce that, uh, I apologize to uh, Helmut as well. A little exercise for young theologians, a great little book. And then after you have read it, there'll be a forum response. And this is one of those, the things I disagreed with the most in Felicke's lecture were, all right? And that post is going to be due by next Thursday. Uh, at the beginning of next week, I'm going to go over the schedule again. Uh, I'm going to do that each week for the course. Uh, so probably on Mondays, uh, I'll, I will post a video and do that. And then I'll need you to respond to another student by the end of the week. So the first thing you see when you look at this week is you see that's a lot. And it is. This is a 300 level course. And um, I think you're ready for it. And I'm going to be walking through it with you each and every week. And I'm here to help. There's two great ways to find me. James.Shelton at point.edu. You can email me there, or you can use your Canvas email and you can send me an email through Canvas. I check my email too much. Uh, I have my phone in my hand too much. Um, and I readily admit that. Uh, but it is of an uh, advantage to you uh, because if I get up in the middle of the night and see that you have uh, asked me a question, uh, about an assignment or whatever, there's a good chance you're going to see an email come in, you know, sometime in the middle of the night. Uh, I, I like to get those answered as best I can if I have uh, the tools to uh, take care of that uh, for you. Okay, one other thing that I want to show you in this course, and I'm going to go back to the modules, um, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to go down to week seven, okay, and I'm going to go down to, actually, there's two things I want to show you. First of all, I want to show you the Theology and Life Project. Okay. You can read this on your own. But I'm going to take some time right now. Theology cannot be studied as an academic exercise only. Each of you will be required to participate in a project that helps discover a means to integrate what we're, we're going to be studying with real life. And here, here are the guidelines. You cannot, it cannot be done in the confines of a local congregation. So cannot do it with your home church, somebody else's home church. Uh, it has to be done in another setting. You must connect with someone else in this class or someone who is willing to work on the project with you in order to complete this assignment. Part of the purpose of the project is to help you see the value of creating and leading teams to address issues. Each project must involve a minimum of two people and no more than four. 
So the nature of the project must have a connection point with something we're going to learn in this class. Each project must present a written report about the project on now this this is going to be we, we might have to this may need to be the Sunday the session ends if that's something I need to edit. The written report must include identification of the project identifying a resource person who is aware of what the project was and what was accomplished, identification of the specific nature of the project, explanation of why this project was chosen, what biblical and theological ideas give this project value in the kingdom, and a description of the project, detailed explanation of what you did, outcome statement about the project, what did you accomplish, and then the overall impression you have from having worked on this project okay don't don't panic about this right now i'm going to have much more to say about this i'm going to do an entire video um of just about this theology and life project but i did want to kind of go ahead and get it out there to you now because you may say oh that's in seven weeks but if you're not working toward this as we go um, it's, it's going to be a lot of work, and I would venture to say impossible to throw together at the last minute. And we wouldn't want you to do that anyway. So I want you to take a look at the Theology and Life Project. And again, if you have any questions at all, uh, if you want to run by me what, uh, what you'd like to do, do that. Do that. As soon as you get an idea of something that you think you would like to do, um, shoot me an email. And let's talk. Uh, let's talk about what you can get done. All right. Now, the other one that I'll, I just want to touch on here uh, today, and then we'll, of course, have uh, each week I'll, I'll delve deeper into these assignments as we go. You're going to be uh, putting together a statement of faith. OK. Assume that you have a friend, not a believer, who is reasonably bright and interested in becoming a believer. He or she has asked you, if I, if I become a believer, what must I believe? Okay. Now, based on what you're going to learn in this session, write a one-page, single-spaced statement of faith. And now, a couple of bullet points for you. This is the kind of assignment you should write and rewrite and probably rewrite at least one more time before submitting. Uh, there is a sample attached here of what your final product should look like. I cannot stress this enough. Do not copy this statement of faith or any other statements of faith you may find on say, oh, I don't know, the internet. What we're asking for here is be genuine, be personal, and have it be authentically what you believe, okay? This is an exciting assignment. And I think that as we go through the material, I think it's going to be more exciting. Okay. But there is an, an example here uh, under the assignment tab for you to take a look at. Okay. I don't want to go any further. Um, it's it's a lot that we're doing, but it is well worth doing. And I am so glad to be a part of, of this with you, walking with you through this material, learning, relearning. Growing in Christ. That's what we're here to do. Uh, and so I'm excited for it. Again, best way to reach me, james.shelton at point.edu, or you can email me through Canvas, through your inbox in Canvas for this course, and I'll get back to you. Uh, I promise you, I will get back to you uh, no later than uh, 24 hours uh, after you've emailed me. And it's going to really have to be, I'm going to have to really be busy with other things to not get back with you within a matter of hours. Uh, so again, God bless you. I'm with you. Most importantly, God's with us, and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time together over the next uh, seven weeks. And uh, again, thank you for being at Point, and I'm grateful again for the opportunity to be with you in this course. God bless, and we'll see you soon.